We have grown up over the last 50 years with an energy infrastructure that in our cars we use petrol or diesel. But as we move forward into the future, it's more likely that you'll start seeing a greater diversity of fuel supply. Solar is arguably one of the most efficient power sources we have available. Because if you think about it, of all the sun that's hitting the Earth now, if you were to capture just even a portion of that, you could power the Earth three to ten times over. What we're doing as a community, the solar car community, is developing technology. We are really trying to push the boundaries of what solar vehicles can do. Australia, the setting for the World Solar Challenge, an event attracting solar car teams from around the globe. In 1987, the solar cars were the single-seaters in the catamaran shape that many people have seen. The cars evolved into what became the Challenger class. They aren't a practical car that you could take to the shops and pick up the shopping with. They're not the prettiest of things at the moment, certainly. They're very aerodynamic though, and that's the whole thing. So if you're thinking about going forward with solar-powered cars, it needs to be more efficient, it needs to be more powerful. So the Cruiser class was introduced in 2013 as a way to sort of push the boundaries on what we can achieve with solar powered cars. Those cars are moving towards commercialisation of solar cars. So arguably solar cars aren't really that far away. I mean, we're already racing them, but into production for the everyday user that looks a bit more car-like than table. You need to have that balance of the solar cell technology, the battery technology, the finance side and the aerodynamics to work together. Essentially at the end of the day a solar car is an electric vehicle which gets its energy from the sun and that's still requiring the same drivetrain, the same steering mechanisms, everything else is the same as any other electric vehicle. There's no two ways that there are parts of the world that have more sunshine than the others. So solar cars are going to go further and do more. In our analysis, even in London, if you took a standard electric car and you kitted that out with uh, silicon cells on the roof, then that will cover you 1,500 miles a year, a good majority of your about town mileage. They certainly compare really well to an everyday use in everyday cars. I mean, our top speed is 70 miles an hour. Uh, we can cruise at uh, 55 to 56 miles an hour all day. Certainly people expect that it would be high performance. Right now, electric cars are on the fringes of comfort zones. People go, oh, you know, the range, it's not quite there. Actually, if we bring along the concept of solar cars, then suddenly the electric cars get more, in, more into a place where you go, yeah, okay, I, I, can, I can see my way into an electric car now.